is Sean Hillen from the group Democrats Abroad Ireland and Kurt Taroff, a lecturer at Queen's University. Gentlemen, a very good evening to you both. Sean Hillen, if I can come to you first, we were told time and time again that this was going to be a very close race. In the end, Obama stormed to victory. Well, polling exit polls are like sausages. They taste good, but sometimes you don't know what's in them. In the end, it was a fairly easy victory for Barack Obama, more than almost 100 electoral college votes, and he also won the popular vote. So I think in the end, it was probably a severe disappointment for the Republican Party, as they certainly expected to do much better. But I think in the end, it came down to trust. People trusted what Barack Obama said, and they weren't sure what Mitt Romney said he believed in. What about, the exit, shallied. what about the exit poll? Sorry to, to interrupt you there, Sean. Did they get it terribly wrong, or were the guesstimations just terribly cautious? I think probably terribly cautious. Um, it's very difficult to call an election through exit polls. And I think the Democratic Party did a very good job in raising a groundswell of support. I think well over one million Extra voters mm. were registered by the Democratic Party machine. Okay, let me bring in our studio guest, and that's Kurt Taro from Queen's University. He has secured his second uh, term in office then. But let's look at this. The House of Representatives stays pretty much the same, as does the Senate. Is there a risk that Barack Obama will be a lame duck president here? I wouldn't go so far as to say lame duck, but I also wouldn't necessarily expect that major things are going to happen quickly or necessarily at all. There are some major issues facing them right off the bat. Uh, the Bush tax cuts expire at the end of the year, and some action will certainly be taken. The question is whether or not Obama can accomplish getting rid of the tax cuts for the rich, as he has promised. But the Republicans are going to be very much against it. So, And the economy, such a divisive issue for every country around the world, mm -hmm. but specifically for America, with this mass massive budget deficit. Yes, and they have the fiscal cliff coming right up against them. So the big question is going to be just how much we can expect the House Republicans to compromise, and that's not clear at all at Sean, this point. Sean Hillen, uh, Superstorm Sandy uh, just a few weeks ago was taken as a factor in this election campaign as uh, foreign policy, the likes of the death of Osama bin Laden during the, uh, term of the previous term of office. How important were they to Barack Obama? Without doubt, uh, Hurricane Sandy allowed the president to become and seem and is to be a leader of the nation. And uh, it, it is interesting that the governor of New Jersey, who is a Republican, praised him so highly, and that Michael Bloomfield, um, who is mayor of New York, independent but formerly Republican, also gave his support to President Obama. So I think receiving the support of two Republican-minded people like that showed how well that the president did during that tragedy. Let's talk about that relationship between Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. If I can bring yourself in, Kurt. Uh, Obama says he looks forward to sitting down with Romney. Is that going to happen? I'm not sure it matters whether it does or it doesn't. Uh, for better or worse, uh, Mitt Romney now fades into history. Uh, we, we are unlikely to hear very much from him again. Uh, we see John McCain, but that's mostly because he's still a senator. Uh, Romney now returns to private citizenry, so I'm not sure we'll hear too much from him after this. And Sean, briefly, will we see President Obama back in uh, Ireland's north or south anytime soon? I think so, absolutely, because of course the Democrats are looking forward to another four years after this four years, and the American-Irish vote is very important, okay. and the Democrats have done a lot here in both Northern Ireland and in the Republic of Ireland, so I think safely and he will be back in Ireland, and I think he'd be well welcomed here. Okay. Sean Hillen in Derry and Kurt Taroff here in the studio. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.